Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video today. Today I'm going to show you how you get unlimited render distance or bump up your render distance from the recommended. So, as you can see, my recommended or average ratio on switch. But now, my render distance now is 45 recommended and can go all the way up to 96. How about you on the lower end device? And it recommends like maybe like five. I'm gonna show you how to bump up your end resistance just a tiny bit. Don't do it a lot because you can actually bump it up a lot to unlimited and that will lag your device. So I'm gonna show you how I, I how I do the end resistance. This on Windows 10, but also work on mobile if you use file managers. So yeah. I also made a video about um the I'll put up on screen right now. It's a video about testing my PC to a limit. You don't want to watch a 10 minute video of so let's just get into the video. Yeah. So first and first you want to close out Minecraft. Second thing, you want to make sure you're on Windows 11. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. But first you want to make sure so you go to start menu, type in percent up zero percent. And then go to app data local and just find your com.mojang folder. So it'll be under packages Microsoft Minecraft lock game. There's local state games com.mojang just follow the path that I follow so and then you want to go and minecraft p and open the options now let's open on my second monitor I'll bring it over right now so let me just make it smaller I don't need it that big a notepad so um you want to find the render distance so let me just see this one so yeah right now it's at 1500 that is i think that's blocks i'm pretty sure that's blocks so not chunks so wait, wait, wait let me pull up a calculator real quick so if you say i have 96 chunks times that by 16 not not what the f what 96 times 16 equals yeah it's blocks so that how much blocks you can see far away so yeah i, I got it right okay i got it right that's good okay so if you want to see let's say I'll do like a hundred and twenty-eight render distance. <laughs> that may break my computer, but I don't care. It's for entertainment purposes only. Um, let's just go to one twenty-eight times sixteen. Okay, I shouldn't do that, but whatever. That's easy math. Okay. Now, you just want to change this view distance to whatever you want so use a calculator do your, what the chunks divide times 16 when the like how much chunks you want to view distance should be times 16 and then what you want to do is just go file save go open up the minecraft launcher i open up minecraft launcher or minecraft park edition because it's in a minecraft launcher now these days so you want to just open up Minecraft and you should have the render distance. So let me just show you just to prove it that I have the render distance. 96 plus chunks. See? It says a plus right there. It doesn't show you how much chunks you actually have, but if you did it right correctly, you should have 128 or whatever you put in there 
I don't like my 128, but I'm just gonna show you it. Just for entertainment purposes only. Let's try my random seed world. Because why not? Oh, this world again. Wow. But look how slow it renders in. Oh, that's better. That's much better. I was gonna say, look how slow it renders in, but. Yeah, they're falling down. But yeah, this is um the highest render distance. 128 chunks. I know it's ha most of it still haven't rendered in, so you have to like look around and try and render in. But most of it haven't been rendered in yet, which is pretty sad. What's over there? Let go. That's all thing. Anyway, I'm going, I'm going to um end the video here. I show you how you get render distance that looks like beast of a render distance. Now I'm lagging, and now I have to change it back. And yeah, I hope you guys like and subscribe. Don't forget again to smash like if you did. I'm Steve, and as always, peace out.